Welcome to my channel. I've been asked to react to a song by Morissette entitled She Used to Be Mine. This is a Mariah Carey song. Um, it says it's a Sarah Bareilles cover, so I don't know. Maybe it's not the Mariah Carey song, but anyway, I've been asked to react to it, so that's what I'm going to do now. But before I do that, I want to tell you that I so greatly appreciate the people that come to my channel, you, my viewers. I really, really do. I love the way that you share so much detail in the comments about the singers and about the songs and all your excitement about the people that you love. And I really enjoy seeing all the interaction between the viewers in the comments and I'm just absolutely blown away by the growth of my channel. I really am. And all I can do is thank you. As I do with every singer that I feature on my, my uh, channel, I will go to Morissette's YouTube channel. I'll get all her links. And I'll put them in the description of my video. So all you have to do is click on the more link on the description and you'll see all those links. And what I ask you to do is support the artists that I feature by going to their YouTube channel and subscribing, by going to their social media accounts and following them, and by buying their music if you like their music. So this is Morissette Amon, Amon, singing She Used to Be Mine. Doesn't it feel amazing to be in love? Wow! <laughs> Staray! Ako talaga! Anyways, going back to the, you know, Serious more he said. Not a lot of you guys know that I actually have a little theater background. Back in I think 2012, I had my very first musical theater experience being cast for Repertory Philippines production of Disney's Camp Rock the Musical. And I was asked to take the part of Michi Torres, which was portrayed by Demi Lovato in the original movie. Oh, wait, what's that? Ano, ano? Ah, sample, sample. Oh, sige, wait. <coughs> Char. Parang mo ako nagkasakit dun. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Gonna let the light shine on me. Now I found who I am. There's no way to hold it in. No more hiding who I wanna be. This is me. <laughs> yeah, I remember having so much fun, but I really did grow as a performer from that experience and it was just really priceless. Just imagine just having to remember everything from the, the blocking and then we also have um, choreography, uh, our lines, our lines and then all of those power vocal songs and not to mention Shepre because we're independent people. Should I we we even like sometimes most of the people in the theater do um, their hair and makeup and just do everything themselves backstage. So I in my part I also had to think about just all the quick changes I had to do for the show and it was crazy. Yeah, I definitely learned so much from that experience and gained so much respect for the theater community. And I am looking forward to hopefully doing it all again someday. Anyways, I would love to sing for you guys a song that's from a newer musical. Well, not very new, but this was actually based on a movie back in the 2000s and was adapted and brought to the theater uh, with music written by Sarah Bareilles. This is She Used to Be Mine from the musical The Waitress. It's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me that these shoes and this apron that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them It's not easy to know I'm not anything I used to be, although it's true, I was never a 
attention sweet center I still remember that girl She's imperfect but she tries She is good but she lies She is hard on herself She is broken and won't ask for help she is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be. out a person and makes you believe it's all true and now I got you and you're not what I asked for if I'm honest I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over and rewrite an ending or two for the girl that I know Who'd be reckless Just enough Who gets hurt But who learns how to toughen up When she's bruised And gets used By a man who can't love And then she'll get stuck And be scared Of the life really like this girl <clears throat> oh that was a great rendition I think I've done this song before I think I'm gonna go take a peek and real quick and see but I'm I'm almost positive I've done it before let's see uh, look for she used to be mine Yeah, I have done it before, but I think it was a different performance because I don't remember her talking at the beginning of it. But anyway, her smile is infectious. I really love her smile. And her whole... Uh, presentation the way that she portrays herself and I'm not saying it's fake when I say portray I mean the the image that she is 
it is who she is, but it's what she shows the world, okay, is very positive and very sweet and very loving. Uh, <clears throat> I love it when she sings really soft. Um, and yet she enunciates every single word perfectly. I love that when artists do that. And man, do I like that growl when she gets in those parts like where she par sang the part where she used to be mine. She said the butt, but she used to be mine. The butt had a growl in it. If you go back and watch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just, I love that sound from her. It, it just portrays uh, inner strength and determination and uh, I'm never going to quit kind of attitude. Um, I thought it was delightful learning a little bit more about her and how she's been in the theater. Uh, all around, I mean, it was wonderful from beginning to end and I'm glad I watched it. Like I say, I think I've done this one before, but I don't believe it was this version of it. I'll, I'll double check, but uh, if it was, my memory is gone. <laughs> but boy, I really, really like Morissette. I think she is a fantastic singer. And, and not just a singer, but she is... She, she, she makes the song her own. She really makes it her own. And it seems like when she's singing, she's singing about herself. And not every singer can do that. A lot of the singers that we look at on my channel, because you guys pick the best people in the world. I mean, come on. How do you get better than Angelina and, my gosh, Emma Cook, uh, Amira Willighagen, Dimash, the list goes on and on, Laura Fabian, I mean, there are so many of them that are so good. And you keep picking them for me. And I really, really do appreciate that because it makes me doing these videos so simple and easy and fun and enjoyable that it's not work at all for me. I mean, you might think I'm working, but trust me, I'm not. Um, I didn't work when I was working, when I had a career. I loved it so much that it wasn't work to me. And this is just like that. It's something I love doing. I enjoy the daylights out of it. And so it's not work. It isn't. It takes up a little time, yeah, but, you know, I mean, what am I going to do? Sit, on, sit in my uh, recliner and, and twiddle my thumbs? No. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something I enjoy. And this is something I enjoy. And it's you that's picking those songs and you that's showing me all of these wonderful people it's you that's presenting me with videos like this one that i just really really loved so thank you i know we're going to do more and more set and i look forward to doing more and more set because she is great i really do like her in the meantime i'll pray for you that you have an abundant life and that God blesses you with long life and health and that he keeps you safe from harm. I pray that God will do the same for every single person that you love because those people are important to you. And more than anything, for you, my viewer, I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God, and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.